Howdy y'all. Hi guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From Flipside Music in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Great American <laughs> Guitar Store. Deep in the heart of Denver. Where we're, we're at. Oh. No. <laughs> where, where are we? Right on. Oh. No, we're not really from Flipside Music yeah. in Denver, Colorado. We're from RNA Music in Canton, Texas. That's right. Deep in the heart of Texas. That's where we're at. And it's time for another episode of Ask RNA all the questions. So yeah. let's get to it. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? What the fuck? Welcome back, y'all. It's time for episode number 369. Woo! That's a lot of episodes of Ask RNA. It really is. Of us answering questions. But that's what we're gonna do if you're new here. I'm Ryan. And I'm Angela. And we have a little family music store, guitar shop, music lesson studio, small town, East Texas. And we teach lessons all day long to people. Including today. Including today. We've got to teach some makeup lessons today. And we sell some stuff and things too, every now and then it's mm -hmm. kind of whatever. But anyways, we're gonna answer questions today. This is one of the videos we shoot. This is my favorite video that I do. Yeah. Because you're in it. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna answer some questions from people all over the world. Yes. You want some swaggy swag? You cannot buy Flipside Music t-shirts from us at RNA Music. You can't right. have or buy them from Flipside Music in Denver, Colorado. Yeah! Big fan, you know, whatever, it's cool. Might have gotten something from from them this last week. Yeah, something like Unboxing that. Unboxing coming soon. But you can get some Arnie Music swaggy swag. Link down in the description of this video. Get you some Arnie Music t-shirts. Support small business. And let's answer some questions. Okay. First question, Brian Strausser. My wife is from India and she said, nice. you can freely factually call England invaders. Yes. You should try goat curry. <laughs> We're talking about India. In mm -hmm. Yes. And Indian food. Indian food. Mm -hmm. Indian food last week. Yes. What would you both have chosen as a vocation had the music shop not happened? That's Mr. Wick. Hashtag John Wick. <laughs> Mr. Wick. <laughs> yes. Angela, what would you have chosen as a vo as a vocation had uh, the music uh, shop not worked out? I I don't know. Probably I would probably would have gone back to school and had done something like nursing. Um, yeah. I would, that was my first off the top of my head because I've always been involved in the hospital medical scene for the longest time, even with my mom working in a hospital. So, worked in labs and yes. hospitals. Either that or I would have been a teacher, you know, probably elementary school because it's less stress. So, is it? Yeah. Less stress than working in a lab? Well, no, I mean, out, out of the grade levels. Oh, out of yeah. teaching? Yes. Yeah. Junior high is a funny age in yeah, high school. No thanks. Too. No. Mm -mm. I like the idea of having one group of kiddos and then seeing them through the year instead of having interchangeable classes of different right. kids every single class and having to spend the time to wrangle them. No, no thanks. But yeah, so either a nurse uh, or I would have um, been a teacher. How about you? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've had probably a teacher. Uh, a music teacher. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, probably. I mean, I went to school to be you a- You totally been like a history teacher or something like that. That would have been- Like an easy. Yeah, something easy. Yeah. Like, music is challenging, mm -hmm. right? I went to school to be a band director, so I have a music education degree. I could be a teacher in public school, mm -hmm. being a band director. Uh, so that's where my actual college education degree background is in. Mm -hmm. And I did that for a little bit. I taught private percussion lessons and stuff in some schools in Mesquite and Garland, Texas. Um, you know, but I, you know, as much as I love being in the band when I was a kid, and I'm, I'm grateful for my experience being in the band and all the things I learned, I don't really want to be a public school teacher. Mm -hmm. So that was- Especially I, now. Yeah, yeah, especially now. Like I loved music and that was my thing. And back mm -hmm. in the old days, when I was going to college in the 90s, mm -hmm. most of the schools, there wasn't, there wasn't, you know, there wasn't a lot of music business degrees you could get back then. It wasn't very common or right. like it is now or music production or something like that. Right. Maybe that would have been something interesting to go back into do the more production side yeah. of music recording. Right. 
Gonna Big move evolve. to Nashville? Yeah, no, yeah, I guess, I don't know. You know, and that that, that side of the thing, I guess, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've had all kinds of jobs, but, you know, it was always, music was always the ultimate, I hope. Mm -hmm. You know, wish I could get a job doing music. It took me a long time to figure out how to like do it. Right. <laughs> and make like, you know, a decent living. Right. Not just like gigging on weekends and stuff. Of but, course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that would have been you. You would have been in some kind of other music vein other than owning a store. Right. There would probably something. Mm -hmm. Something involving music. For sure. I used to work like in corporate sales. Right. Like in, I've done music sales. Music director at a church. Music director at a church. I've done that job. Yeah. I'm doing that job now. I know. It's like, like, actually, that is a job I have right now. It is currently a job. <laughs> we are music directors at a church. Mm -hmm. Like, on the side. Small church. It's like a part-time thing. It's mm -hmm. not our... No. It's not our main thing, but... But, yeah. Probably something involving music, I would guess. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I'm trying to think of what else. Like, I was talking with uh, a guy yesterday, an, old, an older student. Comic store mind. owner. Maybe. Like a hobby town owner. Yeah. Owner. Maybe. I was talking one of our, I have a customer, a student who's older and retired, all that stuff. We were talking about jobs. I said, yeah, I love my job. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I've had jobs I hated. I had jobs I've tolerated. And I've had, you know, this is a job like I love yeah. coming to work. So it's kind of, it's kind of nice. Don't want to go to work at a job I hate. Mm -mm. Money's not, money's not really worth it. I don't no. think. If you're hating your life. And he's like, yep. <laughs> he had a job for like 30 years. And he's like, kind of hated it. Oh, 30 years. So I mean, he was looking. Time. You know, looking forward to retire. I'm like, man, that's tough. All right. Anyway, what do you guys and girls, if you could do something other than what you're doing right now, your current job, if you want to tell us what you currently do, tell us. If you don't want to tell us what you currently do, tell us what you wish you were doing. Mm -hmm. Comments down below. I love to read that. Yeah. Great question, Brian. Thank you, man. Awesome. Next question. Fat philosopher from Japan. Yeah. Hashtag John Wick. Hashtag Angela Watch Commando. <laughs> I'll try. We should, yeah, we should do that. He said, I already take <laughs> Angela Robert... reacts. <laughs> Angela reacts. Angela's review of Commando. That no, should be like in the next video. Yeah. All right. He said, I already take Robert Baker's course, but I would be interested in an online singing course if Angela offered one. What do you say, Angela? <laughs> we're sure. talking about we're talking about online uh, lessons and stuff. Last yeah. week, I have Rob. I have a bunch of Roberts uh, courses and stuff too. And mm -hmm. like most of the time, oh, he'll come out with one and I'll buy it. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, dude, you didn't have to buy that, you know, because we're like friends. Right. You know what I mean? I'm like, we, we go back a long way. So like, dude, you didn't have to buy that. I'm like, I know, but I want to support you. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, you know, I've bought Robert's videos and I watch them and they're great. It's not necessarily anything I don't know. Right. But I want to buy them because mm -hmm. I like him and we're friends. Yes. And I want to support I want to support his, his business his endeavors yeah it's, it's like he supports my business and right so. well it's not an endeavor anymore it's a career pretty much oh yeah we both have careers right. <laughs> yeah. and I've got like I said I've got I've got courses from several different people just to kind of see how they lay things out Robert does a great job like right. his courses are great I've recommended them to some of my own students actually mm -hmm. he's like hey uh, you know something extra on the side I'm like well looking for extra on the side this is Check it. out my buddy Robert. Oh, he's doing a sale by the by the way. He's doing a sale this weekend. It's a killer deal if you get in on his sales. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Angela, online singing course. Yeah. Uh, yes, sure. I mean, I wouldn't know exactly how to course it. How to structure it? Yes. See, Be because that's my problem. Well, because for singing with guitar is pretty just like by the book. Well, there's kind of a linear. Progress, yes. Progression. Where vocal ex exercises are sometimes personalized. Like being able to hear what you sound like to see where the problem lies and then therefore helping you fix it. Right. Because not everybody so, has the same range. Right. Not it's everybody just has like, the same problem. It's just like being, you know, saying, being an online mechanic and you're saying, can you help me fix my car? I'm just going to watch a video of a general mechanic whenever you have a high end performance vehicle and this guy's only used to working on Chevy 70 7 you know 1970 Chevy Chevys, Chevys or Fords you know what I'm saying so it's you know it depends on the person and who you're talking to somebody might be a Chevy somebody might be a Lamborghini somebody might be you know walking yeah so you know it's just like well you have to get in the car first so um you're I probably right the car. there's probably a lot more yeah for singers like you really need to like see and hear that person do their thing so you right. can diagnose their issues. Right. And of course, in my mind, as I'm thinking, of course, I think as I talk. So 
whenever I was thinking as I was talking, um, I thought, well, I guess I could say, if your voice sounds like this, if your voice sounds like this, yeah. and then gear it towards each voice, I could do that. But yeah, that's something to think about. And put something in my mind on yeah. all the other things yeah. that I need. <laughs> I mean, there, there are there probably, there are some core mechanics thing, like every singer should- Breathe a certain way. Right, yes. know how to support from the diaphragm. Right how to make proper vowels and like there's there's probably i'm sure there's a lot of the general of course information things you know? mm -hmm. like we have the the zen of screaming yeah course dvd mm -hmm. and she covers a lot of like core mechanics yes in the first dvd but like, it's also strictly just to get somebody to the point where they don't tax their voice because mm -hmm. they're going from scream to yeah melody. she doesn't get too much into that in that first dvd it's no. all just basic like here's how you breathe don't right. baby <laughs> Right, which yeah. I use, I'll, yeah. I use a lot. Which are universal. And then sometimes it's not applicable for that person because it's not where they're, they're not, not their there. Issue. Well, they're, yeah, and they're not there yet. So it's like, here, let's just get you to sing this on key first yeah. before we start working with the mechanics. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I think you'd be amazing. I'd buy that course. Okay. I'll probably have to edit it. And yeah. All, I'll have to do all the, <laughs> you'll do all the talent stuff. I'll okay. do all, I'll do all the, mechanical That's editing great, and recording. That's great, because I'm not that great at that. <laughs> but you could be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you Another how to, thing. Yeah, because you just need 7,000 more things to add to your current 10,000 things. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the question, Fat Philosopher. And yeah! now it's time for comment of the day. I know, we're zooming through. Comment of the day, yeah. You make a comment, read the comment. Comment of the day, because there's only a couple questions this week, you guys. Yeah. You know, which That's is fine right. because yesterday was my birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Today's Saturday. We're only up here on Saturday to teach some makeup lessons because it's getting near Christmas. Yes. Uh, and so there's only a couple questions. But this is the part of the video where we take a comment from last week. Yeah. That one of you guys or girls left. And we turn it into a very short song. Very short song. Impromptu. Without any practice. Here we go. 6A. Am I feeling major <laughs> or minor today? I think I'm feeling minor. Okay. Yeah, and definitely. Okay. Definitely a minor song. All right, here we go. Okay. You have to keep it repeating, babe. I will. Because <laughs> I won't know where to come in. Modulation at the end to so a happy <laughs> chord. Leo yeah. go live. Mr. Wilson with the P bass is savage. Keep moving your chair over. Question mark. I'm done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Savages. Don't roll over my finger. I'm not. I'm trying to not hit you. Savages galore around here. And yeah. that was our comment of the day song. Yes. Maybe if you leave a comment next week, it'll make it into the comment of the day section of next week's Ask Her yes. Video, which will be. That. Number 370. All right, final yeah. question. So excited. Just Fun Guitar, yes. all the way from England, Shire. Uh, Leo's in Texas, mm -hmm. Fat Philosopher's in Japan, Just Fun Guitar is in England. I don't know where Brian is. Brian Strausser, where are you at? <laughs> well, yeah, so yeah. We gotta know. Just Fun Guitar, new questions. One, what is the most common name for a pet in Texas? Mm. Two, is, was Atlantis a real place and whom did they worship? Ooh. Ooh. Animals and Atlantis. All right. Most common name for a pet in Texas. What do you think? Mm. Um, probably, I don't, well, I don't know. Um, I have so many friends with different pet names, like so obscure pet names. So I would think maybe like Scooter or, Scooter. or Ranger or something like. Ranger. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it has to be something like very cowboy Spot. or Duke. Duke. Duke and Duchess, I think, are That's, big yeah. big names because Ryan's brother and sister or sister and brother in law had a boxer named uh -huh. Duchess. Named Duchess. We had a boxer named Duchess. And it was just like it was just the name. And then like a friend from my high school, she has a boxer named Duchess. So it's like but Duke is a very common Duke is a very common dog. Duke name. and Duchess. Pretty common dog yeah. names for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can't think of, you know, because all of our all of our animals have kind of odd yeah, like names. Well, names. Pe Pepper is pretty a common name I've, yeah. I've found mm -hmm. for, for chihuahuas. Small, for small dogs. <laughs> for for mm -hmm. chihuahuas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of my yeah. one of the, the one of my students, the little twin girls, they have a dog named Hank. Oh nice. And I keep caught thinking of Frank? They're like, no, Hank. Like, oh, okay. Oh, because we have a cat we call Frank. Yeah, we call Frank. <laughs> I made yeah. I made him ride his a song. His name isn't Frank. It isn't Frank. His nickname is Frank. Yes. We call him Frank. It's Frank, yeah. Yeah. But that's a good that's a good answer. I'd agree yeah. with that. Because mm -hmm. I actually have heard of multiple pets named Duchess mm -hmm. or Duke. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. All right. Is it is was Atlantis a real place? Whom did they worship? I believe Atlantis was 100% a real place. Yes. And it fell during the flood. Oh. I believe it fell during the flood. That would make sense. And a Nephilim was probably worshipped, just like all Greek mythologies are Nephilims. Demons. Demons. They worship mm -hmm. demons. Yes. So the hierarchy gods like um, Odin, and like they were actual gods, they were angels. They were the fallen angels of men. Zeus, um, uh, Mars, Jupiter, all those guys, they were actual stars, fallen, you know, Baal. fallen angels. And their children, Hercules and all those were the Nephilim. Yeah. And so I believe that Neptune was a fallen angel that, um, because they made, God made things in the image of things that were already existent. And so I believe that um, Neptune or <clears throat> um, what is the other one? Poseidon. Poseidon were um, angels that had very um, oceanic qualities. qualities because in the Bible they do describe beings that have faces of eagles and mm -hmm. that are, you know, lions or land. Man, right. you know, mammal-like characteristics. Um, and so I believe that Poseidon and Neptune had aquatic characteristics and were- Scales. And were- so That makes sense. Worshiped, because even the people of um, Nineveh worshiped a, a fish, a fish god. god. A god with a fish. <laughs> fish slappers. <laughs> fish. Yes, you have to watch, yeah. you have to watch Jonah from Veggie Tales. The Veggie Tales We were just Jonah. talking about yeah, yeah. fish slappers. <laughs> So yes, I believe they did exist, and I believe that they fell during the flood, like most um, civilizations. Um, I believe even the Aztecs fell during the flood. That's why a lot of the, when the waters receded, they were overgrown with trees and stuff because of trees that were planted and overgrown. And That makes sense. So. All right, there you go. Just fun guitar. Just my two cents. <laughs> I don't ever think about it. I do, a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you do. Mm-hmm. Because I think it's interesting because you have to ask these questions like, well, when did that happen? And why don't we have X, Y, and Z? It's like, well, because. Yeah, well, because if you think a lot of the, you know, if you have Olympus, mm -hmm. it's like, well, it's a it's a thing, but as well, but it is in Greece. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's based on Greek mm -hmm. architecture and, you know. Yeah. But and, when you think of mountains. Yeah. You know, they mimic, things of this earth mimic what, angels and things new in right. the heavens. And, well, yeah, and they, you know, but they even worship no, them in on Norse, Norse mythology, they, they, they think of the the afterlife stuff. Yeah, and as, the tree of life. And as a big, as something that is represented in the real, in the physical world, mm -hmm. you know, so for each, <clears throat> so what, what is Atlantis? You know, mm -hmm. that, is that, does that even come from, is that like a Greek thing? I believe it is like the underworld. I believe that they were a darker, that's why there's no existence of them at uh, all. I believe that they were one of the main <laughs> mamma jammas that were wiped from the face of it. Yeah. That has happened. And because there's a group of Nephilim that are were bound right. in the Euphrates and they were like, you aren't allowed. And I think they were like Zeus uh -huh. 
uh, and Poseidon and oh, the big guys. The big dogs. Yeah. But they, yeah. Because you don't see or hear anything. There's no... There's this is stuff you can talk about on your YouTube channel. Yes. it's Because you don't see any more of their history and stuff right. passed on from that moment. It's like they were just gone. That was it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Always with the interesting questions, just fun guitar. Yeah. Animals and conspiracy theories, mm. which is right up right up our... Well, Angela's alley. Angela loves conspiracy theories. Yes, I do. I'm like, I don't really... I'm not really bothered, but then she showed me some stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm super analytical. Like, like, yes, I'm he's like, very black and white. I'm very like, let me research this. Let me go. Let me let me look at this. And I'm just like, well, then where did it come from? And I'm like, <laughs> why did we do that? Well, I know <laughs> most people say this is crap, but if I look at the facts and physics, facts. Ah, dang it, Angela. <laughs> Dang it, Angela. She, she turns my analysis. Yeah. Not against me, but she, you know, I'm like, yeah. oh. Well, if you actually look at that with a very analytical mind, you crap, should. it makes sense. Yeah. Exactly. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Anyways, thank you for the question, Please. Just Fun Guitar. Yeah. That was the final question. If you guys or girls or circles have a question for next week down below, comment down in the comment section of this video and leave us a question for next week. We'll try to answer it. <gasps> next week will be right before Christmas. Yes, it will. Yay! So it'll be Christmas, Christmas edition of Ask Friday. We're gonna have to do this. Song. Yes. Yeah, on Thursday or Friday. So ask this question for next week, and we'll see you in that video. Until then, oh wait, I was about to, I was about to wrap it up. Yeah. If you want to send me birthday presents, you can just send them to the shop, two hundred one Short Street, Canton, Texas seven five one zero three. Yeah. I mean, birthday was yesterday, but you know, whatever. <laughs> just throwing it out there. Uh, mm -hmm. If you watch this entire video beginning to ending, it's time for secret hashtag of the day. Mm. Type a little secret hashtag with your comment or by itself and we'll know. It's a little game. We are gonna know and all the regular faithful people are gonna know who is super mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, so super secret, super secret hashtag of the day is hashtag Atlantis. Okay. I was gonna say Stargate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and is on a giant Stargate kick right now. I am. Just nonstop. Stargate SG1 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Atlantis, and we will know that you watched this entire video from beginning to end, which helps the runtime, which helps the algorithm. So thank you for that. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video, which is probably gonna be an unboxing video of one of my birthday presents. So excited. You guys may or may not like that. Who knows? <laughs> All right, until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. And you need the music. And we need to keep it alive for the next generation. That's right. As long as they don't get wiped out for being morons. It'll happen. It's Something's gonna happen. It's a cycle of life. <laughs> the cycle of life. All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. What is that music in Denver, Colorado? Song. It's like Ike pays me to say flip side music in every video. He doesn't pay me. I just do it.